Hey Geeks, Tim Tippett here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at BleachBit for Windows, also available for Linux, Mac, Blackberry. And we're going to show you how it works. It is going to clean your drive of unwanted files, as well as a pretty heavy focus on privacy and security by shredding and wiping free space. So I already started goofing around here, but before we let me uncheck what I was playing with, um, basically, if you go in here and you check on anything, it's going to tell you exactly what it's doing. Some descriptions are shorter, some descriptions are longer, but if you're not sure, just click anywhere and it will show you what it is. So if we click Google Chrome, for example, it's going to warn you that it's going to delete your passwords. Hit OK. If you don't want to delete your passwords, just uncheck it. This is the faster way to do it. Again, so you find each little tab here and click there and set up whatever it is you want. Up here, you can see there's a DS store. The best I can tell, I'm not going to lie to you. I had to look it up. It looks like it has something to do with Macintosh. So maybe this is something from Mac that doesn't belong here. So let's just leave that alone. Your Windows Defender history, your Windows Explorer. Let's see, here's some warnings. It will restart Windows Explorer, thumbnails. So if you don't want to mess around with that, uncheck. Now, like a lot of other programs you've seen, similar to a Cleaner, for example, you can click Preview. Preview is going to show you everything that it can delete, and it's going to show you how much space you're going to remove. On a pretty clean install of Windows, that's a pretty decent amount of files right there. All you got to do now is hit clean, and as you can see, it's going to permanently delete them, and that will be that. So you want to make sure before you do that, that you've checked everything you want to check correctly. Now, as you can see, by default, this is where we're talking about privacy and security, Bleach bit is wiping free disk space and it's going to take about seven minutes. So let's not do a seven minute video and I'm going to give the old pause button a click and when you come back that will be done with. And we're almost there and it took just about every bit of the seven minutes. If you didn't know, sometimes you can recover files that are deleted from your hard drive, but if that space gets written to, it becomes impossible after a certain amount of time to do so. So what this is doing in the background is it is writing to the hard drive over and over and over again, wherever these files were, so that they can never be recovered, hence the security and privacy. And here is your disk space recovered, way down here, because it doesn't give you a total here, files deleted and the operations. And that's about it. That's how easy it is to run. Let's look at a couple of quick options as well. It won't take too long, uh, as well as your help. Contents, release notes, system information, and about. We can look at your system information here, and it gives you all sorts of, you know, minor information. This isn't really a system info tool. It's more of a system information regarding the application itself. Let's close that up, and let's go over to preferences under edit. We showed you this before. Let's say you want to shred a file. Just It'll open your Windows Explorer or File Explorer, find the file you want, and open it. You can also shred folders by, let's say you pick desktop. Let's not do that even though I'm in VMware. No, I do not, but there you go. That's how that works. You can also shred settings and quit. We won't play with that right now. And now we have some of your options. Just a handful you want to look at. If you want to play with the beta, feel free. Download and update cleaners from the community. You may have heard of WinApp2.ini. It's used in CCleaner. Adds thousands of different definitions, which will show up over here if you have them on your system. So don't be worried about having thousands of definitions and making this cluttered and a mess. If you want to do that, you click Download and Update Cleaners. Click Close. Close the program out and start the program up. And it will download the WinApp2.ini, as you can see here. So let's take a look at some of the stuff. As you can see, it got a little bit longer. This wasn't here before. A lot longer here, so it will take you a little bit longer, but you can really, really do a lot of cleaning once you have that WinApp 2 INI. I strongly recommend it. And quickly, we're running out of time here. Overwrite files to hide content. Start with the computer. Exit after cleaning. Confirm before delete. Just some of the basic stuff. Here is your custom files or folders if needed. Your drive tab lets you choose a writable folder for each drive for which to overwrite the free space. The reason temp is in here because that's the most common place for your temporary internet files. However, if you wanted to shred any downloads you had, you could click OK. And as you can see, there it is. And your whitelist, another handy one. Uh, let's say I'm playing with pictures a lot. Well, 
I don't want it to look at my pictures folder. I use that a lot to play it safe. And that's about it. So let's close it out. There you go. We just cleared over five minutes. Hopefully you have a better understanding now of how to use Bleach Bit. Take a minute, click subscribe. Looks like my breakfast is ready. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.